Hey guys, it's That's Life with Julie, and this is part two of a video uh, series uh, on how to say no like you mean it. If you didn't join me for the first one, what I covered there was having the tone and the look that is necessary to convey that I am the parent and I do mean this type seriousness, and the punctuation that is required for this. You can't put a question mark at the end of the word no. And it has to be a period, it has to be emphatic, declarative. I declare this word no. So that's really important. So hopefully you have practiced your look. You need to get a scary look, scary mom look if you're dealing with kids, and also a uh, I mean business, business look if you're working in the workforce. Because I talked about how a lot of us accumulate jobs and different things that we really don't want, we're not interested in, because we just didn't know how to say no like we meant it. So now here's the second part that I want to speak to you today about, and that is about having a repertoire of retorts. This is for those of you who maybe it's you're having to kind of get your feet wet a little bit at a time. You don't just dive into the, the no water. You're having to slowly immerse yourself in it. And these are some clever ways to say no without actually using the word no, but your children in particular um, are very aware that that's what you mean. So this is just a few that I've used in my own life. One of my favorite ones, and what usually would happen, what um, preceded me saying one of these retorts, is the kids would come in and ask something just totally off the wall. And I have a little news flash for you. Your kids, I don't care how young they are or how old they are, there is that point when they know what they are going to ask you, they know it's ridiculous. And they know that you know that it's ridiculous. And they know that you know that they know that it's ridiculous. But they're kids and they figured, hey, it's worth a shot. You know, maybe I'll catch her at a weak moment and uh, she'll say yes or she'll say no with a question mark and then I can just do what I want to do. So <clears throat> that's usually what precipitated something like this. I have a distinct memory of my second born coming in. He was wanting to, most of my illustrations involve my children once they get their driver's license asking to do crazy things. And he wanted to pile in a bunch of kids into a vehicle and drive somewhere far, far, far away. And, uh, you know, it just wasn't going to happen. And I was, I was just amazed and shocked that he even asked, even though I just told you that I know that they know it's preposterous, but it's worth a shot. But I was just, I was dumbfounded. And I was sitting at my computer writing at the time, and he asked this question, and I just looked at him, and I, I took the look, and I took the tone, and sometimes it's that really serious, that really somber tone, and sometimes there's a hint of levity in that. There's a hint of, of humor, because we really need to maintain that in all of our no's um, with our children, if at all possible, because you know, life is serious, and there are a lot of times that uh, humor, uh, parenting can just suck the humor out of your life sometimes. So this is how I responded to Ricky on that particular day. I looked at him and I said, Hello, McFly. Now, some of you who are 30 years and younger won't have a clue what I'm referencing. But this is to the movie Back to the Future. And uh, it was a comment that one of the characters made. And what it means basically is what was commonly said maybe five years ago, duh. And what that means is, uh, no, it's not going to happen. And so that's one of the things that you can say. When your children are just asking something ridiculous and silly and it doesn't, it's not like they're asking if they can rob a bank. Well, maybe I would reply that if they ask if I could rob a bank. I would say, hello, McFly. And what I'm saying is no. All right? So that's one way that you can do it. Now, here's another way. And I wish one of my kids was here to help illustrate this. Maybe I'll add this a little bit later. But there were times, there are still times in my parenting, that when they come to me and they ask something that is just not going to happen, I will look at them and I will say this. Hmm, let me think about that for a minute. And I say absolutely nothing. I just I just stare at them, just like this. Some of you are like, ooh, she's freaking me out. I wish she quit staring at me. I just stare at them. And here's what happens. 
when I just I just look at them nine times out of ten they stand there for the five eight ten seconds that it takes and then they just kind of walk away what I said was what did I say say the word no I said no but I said it in a way in a different phraseology and with some humor and again in these two instances instances ex um, especially there is a humor to it there's a, a lightheartedness there's a kindness because there are more than enough times when um, saying no and being confident and tough as a parent in this area when I mean the subject matter has no, no elements of humor or levity in it. So in those occasions when you can kind of lighten it up a little bit but still maintain your uh, parental authority and your parental um, responsibility of putting those parameters up, that's when you say, hello McFly, and you can say, hmm, let me think about that for a minute. So those are your two takeaways for this video. I'm going to come back with more retorts that I have, I'm not lying when I'm saying this. I've gotten hundreds, hundreds of emails, hundreds of messages, and one-on-one -on -one conversations where parents have told me, Julie, I did that, exactly what you said, and it really did help. So this is stuff that is tried and true, friends. I have three kids, ages 23, 21, 16 and a half. I'm still practicing what I'm teaching here, and I'm able to tell you that in the light of eternity, these things, they, they work. And in the light of eternity, it all matters. That's life with Julie.